Hello, my wonderful viewers. We are back again. We are back again. Thank you for being part of this news. Please, this is a breaking news and an interesting one. You may not understand why I said that it is an interesting one until just be patient and listen to me from my analysis, analysis after reading this news for you. Just listen to the analysis. You will understand why I said it's an interesting news. A good one in that matter. The breaking news is this. Bandits attack Nigerian Defense Academy. Key military officer abduct two personnel. Yes, they call them bandits. And remember who are the bandits? Super armed robbers, according to Buhari government. According to Lai Mohammed, he said they are not threat at all. The only threat is IPOB that want to dismember will dismantle the country that IPOB that don't want independent people that don't want challenge the sovereignty of Nigeria so it's not the it's not a uh, bandits so you don't compare uh, orange to apple or apple to orange that is the word of Lai Muhammad remember this same bandit they shot down Nigerian Air Force plane in Niger State recently do you hear about that news anymore no, nobody talked about nobody talk about it again. That one is gone because they are only super arm robbers. They are not a threat to the sovereignty of Nigeria. But today, the news is that they have attacked Nigerian Defense Academy, the bastion of Nigerian security. So let me go to the news, please. If you are new to this channel, I thank you for so doing. God bless you as you visit my channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Just hit the red button. And then, that's all. Share the news. Thump up so that this news can get to other persons. So let's continue. Bandits have invaded the Afaka barracks of the Nigerian Defense Academy, NDA Kaduna State killing a naval officer. The bandits were also said to have also kidnapped two majors. I will tell you that it is not only this officer they killed, because as at the time this news was reported by Sahara, Sahara Reporter, the other news of the people that were also killed has not been released, which I will tell you as well. So now let's continue with this particular news first. Now, according to Daily Trust, the bandits who attacked the barracks around 1 a.m. on Tuesday, we are still believed to be inside the academy. So they were still believed to be inside the academy and they, they were they are able to catch them up to now. L look at it. What does that tell you? That tells you that the people who are even called the bandits are also inside the barracks. Some of them are these people that are recruiting um, Nigerian army or they are part of those that are taking part in the re recruitment. That is what it means. So let me continue with the news. Now, a reliable source within the barracks said security had been beefed up within and around the barracks to stop the bandits from escaping with the officers. It was a terrible experience. The bandits took advantage of the time when most people had gone to bed to attack the barracks. Can you, can you tell me that a whole barracks like Nigerian Defense Academy, that people should be, everybody will be sleeping the whole of the night? <laughs> that is impossible, please. So let's continue. Now, right now, the whole barracks is under lock and key and security have been beefed up so that the bandits cannot leave the barracks because it is believed that they are still within, the source said. One of the officers who was injured in the attack is currently being treated at a hospital within the barracks. The source said that there are, however, fears that the bandits may decide to kill the officers in the bid to escape. The Academy Public Relations Officer, Major Bashir Jajari, did not respond to calls put across. Yes, when something like this happens, you see the person that is the Public Relations Officer, you will never hear from them. They, no, 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 no. They first of all begin, will plan the kind of news they will dish out to the public to show that they are in charge. So, but let me go to the news whereby I said, that it's not only this one officer that was killed. I'm going to give you the next news now. So that 
you will hear it before we continue the discussion. According to Sahara reporters, it learned that the bandits invaded in their large numbers. Look at this. Large numbers invaded and shot dead two officers identified as Lieutenant Commodore Wula and Flight Lieutenant C.M. Okoronkwo. So, you can see, now the bandits, they came in large numbers. So if they are in large numbers, how can they say that they have, they have a law canteen that they still believe that those, those um, um, bandits are still within the premises of Nigerian Defense Academy? And so, is this something that um, is invisible? When people, they came in a large number, you see how they are twisting the story. That is to tell you that these people have done what they, they wanted to do and have gone away without any confrontation. According to the news, the bandits also abducted Major Dalton while two second lieutenant honor sustained gunshot injuries and is currently receiving treatment. So, you see, this is what we are saying. Why, in the initial stage, I said that this is an interesting news? It's because the leader of Indino people of Biafra and the Kano has told them that hey, what is coming to nigeria what is coming to nigeria that we cannot see it we cannot understand it and that is why he's asking for piafra that is why he's asking for division of the country so that we can stop this invasion coming because it's all is a well planned this thing to islamize nigeria for boko haram to take over because all this is what hesmen, bandits, all of them are one. They are fighting for one goal. That is what the man said. And instead of these people, the military men, to concentrate in the north where you have this threat, their attention is in the east. That they will move all their what army to the east, begin to fight Biafrans who are carrying up only flags. Meanwhile, the bandit is going to take over the whole of the north. This is what the man said. The man they are holding right now. The man they are holding in DSS custody. He said it. And that this bandit is going to overrun the whole of the north. A time will come, those ones fighting IPOB in Biafra land, they will not, not have a home again to go to. And now, what are you seeing? If these people can go to Nigerian Defense Academy premises, enter there, kill, abduct officers, tell me, is it also wrong they cannot go? Hey, there's a few shouting, our Nigerian Defense Force, our Nigerian Defense Force. You think that the, you have the uh, uh, army or police or security people to defend you? You ordinary man, you don't have anyone to defend you. So if this bandit can go to Nigerian Defense Academy to attack and kill and abduct. It's you, ordinary, the ordinary person that they cannot abduct. Let me tell you, there is no security man to take care of any of us. Because the, the, the little security men they have now, the one that Boko Haram, you know, Boko Haram has been killing them, the one that is remaining, the elites have shipped them to the south, especially to Biafra land. You know what I mean by Afro land? I mean south, south, and southeast. To protect their interest. And what is their interest? That they are oil wells. You know? Because they don't want this Biafra. That's why they don't want to hear anything about Biafra. If Biafra comes, it means that they are going to lose their oil wells. They are going to lose the money they are making from Biafra land. That is why they are fighting to the name. It doesn't matter what happens in the north. Let it, let it Boko Haram, let it Iswap, let, it, let them burn every person, burn everything down. They are not interested. They are only interested in their wealth. That thing they are getting in Biafra land. That is why you see all these bandits doing it. They don't care. They don't care. Their interest is in Biafra land. They, want, they are protecting their own as well as protecting the, the ones from the foreign countries like the European Union 
America, Britain, because all of them have interest in Biafra land. They are gaining something from there. That is why they are not interested about the bandits, what is happening in the north. It, it, it's not their interest. So, to those of you who are thinking that you are secured, that the country should not, be, should not divide, as you keep waiting for your security personnel to come and secure you, one day these people will come and cut off your neck. That is what is going to, they will just cut off your neck. So, this one Nigeria, this one Nigeria, eh, it's time you think properly and know what you have to do. Because eh, even the governor of Katsina State said, defend yourself, get gun, get arms to defend yourself. <laughs> you think he's joking? You think he's joking? They have just tested like that Defense Academy. They are coming again. The next invasion, they are going to take over the place. Thank you for listening to this small advice.